Well, hello there, Mirror Soul viewers. I am your hostess, Divine Empress, coming to you with a twin flame soulmate divine life partner reading for those of you who are in separation, on the road to reunion, <coughs> or in reunion, or just trying to check in. Um, whatever stage you may be at, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I am doing starting um, April 1st. I'm, um, to April 8th, I'm doing a 444 portal reading, 444 portal reading, you are right where you're supposed to be, um, you are being divinely guided, you are being guided by archangels, you are protected, you are safe, right before I did this reading, I called on Archangel Michael to clear out any negative energy, um, <clears throat> I know that it could have been a big storm, a brewing for some of you. Some of you may have went through it. Some of you are going through it now. But just remember, it will not rain forever, okay? And that rain came to clear out and wash away anything that does not belong. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Yeah, so 444 Portal Readings, DM me on Instagram or email me. Um, I'm doing for $44. I guess I'll do the four questions for $44. Okay. So hit me up. Okay. <clears throat> 444 portal. You are right where you're supposed to be. What we got? What we got? Because, you know, just in general, new love came out. It is safe for you to, to love. That's it. Pay attention to the red fat flags very soon. What we got? One more. Attraction. <clears throat> so we got trust. We got love yourself first. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted, um, attractive. And you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, it's all about being in the present moment, taking time to love on yourself, nurture yourself, remember who the fuck you are, okay? Um, boss up, it's time to fucking boss up, get that credit, you know what I'm saying? Get your, fix your credit, go ahead back to school, do what you want to do for yourself, um, the things that you want to do, bring them into fr fruition, it's time to get everything that's meant for you you're attracting so much you are also beautiful very delicate delicate you're delicate um be gentle with yourself be kinder to yourself the more kind kinder and loving you are to yourself and nurturing you are to yourself the more you glow up the more your person sees you <clears throat> so you doing this for you not for them remember that remember that New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this could actually just be a new love. This could be, I feel like for Divine Feminist, because you're glowing, baby. You're glowing, baby. You're glowing and you're growing. <clears throat> because you're glowing and growing, it's many men that are interested in you. Um, there's probably definitely some that, that would take it to another level if you would allow it. But there's one in particular that you have your heart set on. I feel like this person is learning to love themselves right now so that they can figure out they self. This is this is all new to them, okay? Um, this is all brand new. It's a lot of newness. Um, I feel like this person may have finally started to, the more they started to love themselves, the more they started to open up to who they truly are. Um, we have pay attention to the red flag. The signs is cautioning you. And it's surrounded with new love and trust. Let me keep. Let me go a little further. And see what else. Past life relationship reconciliation. Make the effort. Let your friends help you. Unrequited love and free yourself. Somebody freeing themselves from unrequited love, and that could have caused a delay from you calling in your soulmate. But you are now attracting that person in. <clears throat> I'm a little out of breath, y'all, because for one. <laughs> I have my waist and chat on. You know, I gotta do my little workout and swim. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs is cautioning. I feel like there's something that you are not seeing. Something that you need to see that you may not be seeing. Ask spirit for awareness. 
for anything that is, is meant for you to see right now that you may not be seeing, okay? Ask for clarity with third eye clarity and activation. Some of you could be getting um, headaches, ear ringing, ascension symptoms, and you may not know. But there's something that you need to pay attention to, and I feel like it's, it's you not trusting. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith is going into a situation, not knowing all the answers, but trusting in God and in spirit and in your higher self that things will work out for you just fine. You are attracting every single thing that you want, girl. This is not just love. Love is definitely here, but it's finances, it's um, spiritual growth. It's like all of the above. Um, so just pay attention and um, make sure you pack light. Make sure you're not carrying too much baggage. What I get is with this pay attention to the red flags and um, you enjoy your self-respect. Make sure where um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So what I'm getting is um, some of you are too focused on past. Some of you too focused on the future. You're not present enough. Like, because if you're present, if you was paying close attention, you will see your spirit team trying to warn you or gently nudge you in a direction. So just be mindful of that. We're going to pull some of these. We're going to pull some of these Mystic Bees official, official, unofficial messages. Official, unofficial messages. See what they got. See what um, your counterpart has to say, whether it's masculine or feminine, just take what resonates for you, whoever you're listening to this for. <clears throat> Sometimes the roles change up. I could be talking about you, and then in, in the same sentence, I could be talking about your masculine, so don't allow it to confuse you. That's why I always say take what resonates, masculine and feminine is just an energy. What we got going on? Hit me up for them readings, y'all. Hit me, hit me up. Starting the first. We have, I communicate with you through music. Get your shit and get out. So, <laughs> your rejection would destroy me. Oh, okay. So, I feel like your masculine has been communicating to you through songs and stuff like that um to let you know that they don't want you to walk away look they don't want you to release them they are very jealous if you allow somebody else in the picture okay it's causing them to have pain i feel like i feel like they want to come to you but their very worst fear is for you to be like yo i don't fucking want you no more this for us to talk about a situation where they may be at or something like that where they got kicked out like this person has abandonment issues um self-worth issues um insecurities that they need to release and let go definitely rejection fear and rejection okay fearing that if you know y'all do get together they might do the wrong thing and you be like look i'm fucking done they scared that you will release them fully. They don't want you to release them fully. I feel like each time they fucking ran from you, but didn't want you to release them. They jealous of a new love. You could have communicated that to them and said, excuse me, if y'all hear that noise in the background, that's my cat. Coco. Coco. Like, she not even scratching a litter. She's scratching the daggone litter box. Anyway, so... I communicate with you through music. So he's he's saying that he's very jealous of you. Uh, jealous of your new love or if you ever told him that you were going to date or something like that. He's very jealous of that. That somebody else will see your worth. See who you are and you will release them and say, look, I can't fucking do this shit no more. But I feel like spirit is trying to show this person that they need to transform and become this new love and come in and actually give you the offer that you deserve. Um, if every time you came to this person and you told them that, you know, you've been patiently waiting for them or something like that. And each time they like, oh, I got to figure things out on my own. Like, what do they expect you to just continue to wait around? No, like eventually you won't want to explore and, see, and, you know, just maybe not open yourself up to 
a new guy completely. But, um, or a new woman. But definitely probably just talking or something like that. I mean, it's different for different people. Um, they're jealous. I'm jealous. And of you communicating with somebody else. They didn't know what to say when you guys may have communicated. <laughs> they didn't know. It was some things that they wanted to say but maybe did not say. Please don't let me go. This is what they did. This is what they wanted to say when you said that. But they did not say it. They did not communicate it right. But they do communicate with you through music. Look, they're afraid of getting abandoned. This person has deep abandonment issues and wounds of rejections. Like... This person had been through some things. It's like childhood wounds. Because I'm getting I'm getting childhood wounds that needs to be released and healed. Okay. Self-love. Yeah, needing to love their, themselves some more. This is some messy shit. Jeepers creepers. So I feel like whatever they're going through. Yeah. Whatever they're going through right now. They don't want to lose you in the process, but needing to focus on themselves and love themselves. Yeah, we got sex addi addiction right here. I don't love them the way I love you. Oh, my God. You could be getting dreams about your person. Even seeing you, things could be being revealed to you in your dream about their sex addiction. And them um, having sex with other people. Or this could be past energy. Where they um, had sex with other people. I'm getting gigolo energy. They had sex with them just because. some Somebody got paid for it. You know. Somebody just was in their whole phase. But it was some messy ass shit. Um, them not loving themselves enough. But. Finally needing to love themselves. They had a sex addiction. They don't want you to let them go though. They, I feel like they healing this or dealing with it. But it is, it's definitely messy. It's some creepy shit that may have went on or made them feel creepy. Or dealt with creepy fucking people that might fucking stalk them or some shit like that. But needing to definitely love themselves more. Overall with this deck. Let's see. I know you deserve more. Look, they, they don't feel worthy. I remember you. You have my whole heart. Oh, I look at your pictures every day. So this person definitely is watching you, you know, hoping that you don't let them go. Wanting you to maybe reach out to them or maybe not so much reach out, but just don't want you to leave. Like, I feel like this person is definitely trying to work on themselves. They don't want you to let them go, even though they had, <laughs> they was involved in some messy ass shit. We're going to see what the mess was. Uh-oh. Don't trade authenticity for approval. So somebody may have traded um, how they truly feel just to get somebody an approval, or they could have even traded you. I, I'm getting with, with everything that um, glitter is in gold energy. But I feel like somebody was pretending or going with the flow of what other people think and believed at one point and not what they truly felt. Okay, not being their genuine self. Practice forgiveness. So this goes to everybody. Um, I feel like this person is learning to forgive themselves for not being, um, get down Coco. No, for not being, um, true to themselves. I feel like this person had a hard time with forgiving himself. Um, even having a hard time with, um, forgiving you. People could have definitely been gossiping about this person or, Gossiping about you, just a lot of gossip. Telling hairstylists, telling all your business and sleeping with your your man or woman. So somebody is trying to practice forgiveness from somebody sleeping with a man or woman or just talking to them much. Um, them, they could have 
told somebody something and then it got around. It's like a lot of energy going on. What else we got? We got. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking gossip. Bestie, you know he or she is bankrupt, right? So I feel like somebody is forgiving somebody for some fucking gossip. It's just somebody that talks too fucking much. That seeks the approval of other people, okay? Um, needing to practice forgiving. Needing to forgive other people for, you know, shit that they might have done. Because they might have been messy themselves at one point. We got cheating in a same-sex relationship. So somebody could definitely be bisexual and... um yeah, somebody could be bisexual, trisexual, or just, let me see, social media hacker, make fake pages, pages and accounts, um, and a serial stalker. Okay, so I'm getting that somebody might have created a fake page. Um, if they a female, they could have made a fake page as as another female or as a male um to follow your page to stalk your pages to stalk your person um i feel like this whoever this karmic energy is may have hacked into your person's page um and we got dad mom before you combine families can you acknowledge my feelings in your decision yeah somebody may have had a child before you or your person okay and they may use their child page or this may apply for some of you. Some of you, um, your DM or your divine feminine could have teenage children or just children in general. Um, and they may feel a way for you to just up, move, up and move somebody in or you need to like have a talk to your children because it changes their lives as well. If they're old, if they're of age of being talked to, you know. Allow them to know that, you know, somebody is, you know, coming over to visit often or eventually moving with you guys. Like, be open about it because um, I feel like this is going to be new to them, too. It's like a lot of different energy. Yeah, because you could be you could be with child or eventually soon to be with child. Um, somebody want to create a family with you. <laughs> and that could be the red flag. Your ass thinking it is some other shit. But it's really look. It's love for me. Look, let's create. It's love for me. They want to join families. They want to combine families. Okay, they are letting go of... They're forgiving themselves from things that happened in the past. Of wanting other people's approval. Yeah, dealing with the fucking narcissist. And getting their karma for it. They already got their karma for dealing with whoever this person is. This narcissist. I'm going to pull out two more cards from that. And then I'm going to see what this Harold got to say. New man, look, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. And sex offender, human trafficking. So I feel like somebody, karma was to get locked up or some, this narcissist was trying to get this person locked up, trying to say that that's karma. But I feel like the karma, if this person is like preying on somebody's downfall, that shit is going to backfire on that person. Whoever is here, the narcissist that's preying on somebody's downfall, or wishing harm on other people. If you wish harm on other people, that shit is going to come back to you ten times full. Um, but it keeps saying sex offender. Um, but I'm getting the, the jail part. Um, human trafficking, shit like that. Um, exploiting females. Pimping. Swingers. Live-in situation. So some of you could have been in a situation where y'all wasn't even really together y'all just was trying to take care of the baby but somebody got a whole new man that's vying for their attention and they got their masculine jealous um some of these karmic relationships they could have been swinging and things doing going to swingers party having same sex relationship or just you know little 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 shit parties like just party partying having sex with multiple people at the same time Put some tarot on it real quick. Just a little something. Let's see what tarot guy say. Put 
Three of Cups, Eight of Swords. Somebody part somebody's been partying too much or drinking too much and all up in their fucking head. <sighs> Somebody has been trapped in their own head, needing to face their shadow side. I feel like overthinking. Um <clears throat> this could have been a third party who been doing binding spells on this person. Um, at least three people. Um, so it's three different people. Could be karmic family members too as well. But I feel like somebody needing to get out of their own head um, and celebrate more. Get out the house. Get out the house. Um, somebody is wanting to sneak away. Somebody is wanting to sneak away. Somebody has been um, very sneaky, lying, manipulating about what they're doing. Um, but sneaking towards their justice. Sneaking towards making things right. Finding a better balance for themselves. But it's creating, it's creating um, conflict with those around them of how they move and they not by them not opening up and expressing like I feel like this person really wants to celebrate and have fun um that's like the three of cups is like a cards of congratulations but with the eight of swords it's, it's like self-opposed like maybe maybe partying too much on their own and not worrying about other people but I get that somebody might be about to seek sneak away towards a celebration or something. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Needing to see the truth and clarity is crossing. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords is crossing the Eight of Swords. With the three of cups. So somebody is feeling trapped about maybe a get together or a celebration that they might be going to. Um, and it's made lying to do it. <laughs> Sneaking away to do it. Um, but needing to open up and tell the truth. Pick a direction, find clarity and pick a direction and move towards it. Um, move to the new. Yeah, but this person doesn't know how to do it. So they just watching, they just spying. Their third eye, whoever this is, their third eye is not open. Needing to open up that third eye. This person, third eye is blocked. Two of swords, page of swords, um, eight of swords, seven of swords, queen of swords. Needing to find that clarity. Needing to go find peace and clarity on their own. Needing to take some time on their own to find the peace and clarity, okay? There's a big change that's going to fucking happen, okay? So whatever this person was not seeing, because we do got pay attention to the red flags. Whatever this person is not seeing, they will eventually see. All you need to do in this situation is be still and be patient and focus on yourself and love on yourself a little bit harder right now. Because everything that you want is coming towards you. OK, you may not get the exact apology that you've been hoping for. It may not come out how you want, but it will be something sturdy. I feel like this person wants to bring in some type of balance, um, bring in some type of gift. Coin wants to give you give you something because they may have breadcrumbed you in the past. But I feel like this person has something bigger. This person is making a decision to come towards you. When I say something bigger, I mean big like this. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. OK, that's why spirit is saying for you to trust. Trust that everything is working out for you. This person wants to bring in a new beginning towards you. Spirit is like gifting you guys a new beginning. You guys deserve each other. Eight of Pentacles, that shit is very solid. But like I said, this person is making this decision to come towards this union. He's sneaking towards you. He, But he, he not openly telling you, but he's making a plan. This person has a, a plan to come towards you and build something solid. He wants to offer you something solid, but first needing to go through a rebirth. Because yesterday it was big tower energy. The tower came out first. I mean, twice with the fucking um, storm car in the tower. Um, that means both of y'all could have went through a tower moment. But it also is double confirmation that a big ass sh uh, swift change is coming, okay? For the month of April, okay? A big death and rebirth in order for you to manifest the things that you are meant to bring in, okay? This person is definitely coming towards you. Um, he's been focusing on his coins. 
He's been building his coins, collecting his coins so that he have a big enough coin to make this move, okay? Because this person is definitely making a move, yeah, towards his happiness, his forever after, the person that um, makes him feel good. First, he's needing to release people, places, and things that no longer serve him. Yeah, get your shit and get out. Yeah, somebody could have kicked him out. They could have found out something. Um, best thing you know, he's bankrupt, right? Somebody's lying on this person, trying to um, make them seem like they're broke. This could talk about somebody belittling somebody, trying to make them feel less of, of a man. But this person is coming towards their sunshine, okay? They view you as the queen of cups, a loving, nurturing soul. Somebody who is very tapped in, turned into their emotions, to divine. Um, this is just a beautiful person that's you know, doesn't react from their emotions, not allowing their emotions to affect their actions. And this person is very nurturing, understanding, and patient, okay? And this man wants to come give you that wine, night of wine. He's trying to come through and give you that, that slumber, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he wants to come through fast. Like I said, he's no longer confused, but he's needing to take time alone to figure this shit out. After that big ass huge tower moment, yeah, it will be victory and success. But there will be a fucking tower moment. Period. There will be a tower moment, and that's gonna force this person to focus on themselves and love themselves more. Because I feel like this person put a lot of their energy into other people's happiness, and now it's time for them to focus on themselves. Okay, yeah. So spirit is asking for you to just trust and have faith that you will be victorious. Six, six, six of swords, six of wands. This person is moving towards victory and happiness. Both of y'all taking a leap of faith towards it. Um, look, them same crows that been flying around. This person attached them to the boat. And now them crows is leading this person to their victory. Okay, for some of you by Christmas, you will definitely have everything that you want. Um, because the reef is here, but this, this could talk about some of you being Sagittarius's and, um, by your birthday, you will definitely be moving or, or you may have moved last Sagittarius season, but, or could be moving by six, six. This talk, the fool is the Aries car. So we in Aries season now. Happy birthday, by the way. But six, six could talk about a date. Okay. By the sixth of June. You know what I'm saying? Somebody be taking a leap of faith to come towards their new beginning, starting a new passionate beginning. This person third eye will awaken. If this person third eye ain't open yet, or this could talk about past energy, their third eye was not open, but their third eye is awakening now. Okay, bust wide open after going through a heartbreak. So this person, that could be the tower that's going to come in. This person is going to go through a big heartbreak. They need to see something that they are not seeing. They are not paying attention to and spirit is trying to show them. Spirit is trying to show them who you are and who the people are around them. Because there's some manipulative people around that's a narcissist that pretends very well that mimics the divine feminine or the divine masculine. They mimic them. So it confuses and keeps the uh, counterpart in a trap, entrapment. Okay, and then they get in their own way, get up caught up in their own head and stuck in their own feelings. But it's some heartbreak that's going to fucking come. OK, and that should be enough for this person to see that they need to fucking walk away. Eight of cups. I can't make this shit up. OK, and they will cut off people, places and things. So spirit is asking for you to trust. This person needs to pay attention to the people that they have around them. Um, see, see you for who you truly are and see that person that they have been with that has been manipulative and fucking hiding who they truly is. Hiding in their hand. I feel like whoever this person is, is putting a lot of their time and effort into coins and to distract themselves, but not keeping themselves busy to distract themselves, but not paying attention to what needs to be paid attention to. There needs to be paid attention to what's going on. You need to see the clarity in things. You need to see a, see things from a higher level. Yeah, it's a big ending that's happening. A big ending that's happening. And that's why this is a delay. This delay is for your protection. It's to protect you. But you definitely have somebody ready to take action towards you. Um, you're just going through a delay while karmic cycles are ending. Okay. And this person is very passionate for you. Have a lot of love for you. Um, very feeling very romantic towards you. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's time to see things from a, another level, from a higher perspective. I just even got that this person wants to get you pregnant. Ace of cup, hangman, 
trying to have you caught up in the house, but yeah. Um, needing to just see things from a different perspective, from a more emotional standpoint, allow their emotions in and not um, bottle their emotions up. Let their emotions be free, but learn how to control them. Allow their heart and soul to align. Allow their heart and their mind to align. Okay, but spirit is helping to work on that, helping to awaken this person's soul, helping to awaken them to the level that they're supposed to be. This person is ascending on a spiritual level. Yeah, this person is finding balance between their 3D self and their 5D self. Um, This person is becoming free spiritually. They're, this person's spirit has been trapped in an entrapment, kept in an enclosure. But once their third eye started to wake up, that's when they became free. They started to become free. And spirit is helping to free themselves, free them spiritually. Once they free themselves spiritually, they will be free on a 